Wagner Group forces continued advancing in central Bakhmut over the past few days, says the U.S.-based Institute for the Study of War, adding that the geolocated footage taken on the night of the 2nd of April shows Wagner Group founder Evgeny Prigozhin raising a Russian flag in front of the Bakhmut City administration building. Several male bloggers additionally circulated an image of a Wagner fighter standing in front of an office door in the Bakhmut City administration building itself. Russian male bloggers claimed that on the 2nd and the 3rd of April, Wagner forces continued to consolidate control of streets and urban areas near central Bakhmut and that heavy fighting continued southwest of Bakhmut near the Ivanivsky sector of the highway. The Ukrainian general staff reported that Ukrainian forces continued to repel Russian attacks on Bakhmut itself, northwest of Bakhmut near Orikhovo Vasilivka and southwest of Bakhmut near Ivanivsky and Pratechina. Ukrainian military officials supported the Institute for the Study of War assessment that Russian airborne forces are increasingly supporting Wagner operations in Bakhmut. Meanwhile, the UK Defense Ministry says Russia is likely seeking to sponsor and develop alternative private military companies to eventually replace the Wagner Group in its significant combat role in Ukraine. This takes place in the context of a high-profile feud between the Russian Ministry of Defense and Wagner Group. Russia's military leadership likely wants a replacement that it has more control over. Russia likely sees continued utility for the private military companies in Ukraine because they're less constrained by the limited pay levels and inefficiency which hamper the effectiveness of the regular army. Russia's leadership probably believe heavy casualties amongst the private military companies will be better tolerated by Russian society compared to regular military losses.